There's a chance Zilker Park could look something like this in the fall. The city of Austin laid out guidelines this past week for in person events to start making a comeback. But researchers at UT Austin are wary. They say right now cases in Austin are trending downward, but what we wanted to do was understand the potential impact that um, the reopening of, of Texas and the removal of the mask mandate could have on those trends. And so we we created a few scenarios. Spencer Fox helped launch the UT Austin COVID-19 modeling consortium and was one of the authors of a new study. They acknowledged the declining case counts and the fact that more people are being vaccinated while taking into account the new COVID-19 variant, spring break and Texas reopening. It, looking at kind of the worst case scenario where all of these factors combine to increase transmission locally, um, we find that Austin does not have enough built up immunity to prevent a major surge in the spring. To predict the future, they looked at the past. We looked at the previous two times that Texas reopened and we saw the impact that that had on transmission. So that was in um, May of 2020, and then also um, again in September slash October of 2020, we saw that that increased transmission um, both times. The study says in the worst case scenario, there's an almost 50% chance that local ICU capacity could be exceeded by June. The goal of, of that report was really to inform um, the city of Austin um, and, and the mayor and, and Dr. Escott. In, in, in thinking about the response, Austin isn't quite there yet in terms of having enough immunity to prevent a, a major um, healthcare straining surge. And as people are itching to get back to things that Austin is known for, Fox says. It's important for everyone as a community to, you know, really slowly take their foot off the gas pedal rather than instantly take it off.